What's up guys and welcome to another video. So as promised, I am going to share with you a book review on Zana Van Dyke's Strong Book. So this book has got over 80 exercises and 40 recipes. So it's a very useful book for those who want to know more about training and nutrition. So trying to eat healthier, trying to find ways to get a toned and fit body. So if you haven't heard of Zana Van Dyke, she is a UK fitness blogger and personal trainer. She also is Adidas brand ambassador, so that is really cool and props to her. I would say I am very impressed with this book. So I'm gonna let you see what's inside and all the details about it. Let's get straight to it. So you'll see her book is divided into kind of four sections. First you get an intro and then her move section is all about training and different exercises and planning for the exercises and nourish where you get all her recipes and they look amazing. So I am so excited to try some of her recipes. I really need to get onto it. And then like an end note with a conclusion called Thrive. So let's go on to talk about the first part of course is the introduction. So it's nice short brief introduction about her kind of getting to know her on to say her story, her journey. So the next part is part two, the training and exercise part which she called move. Look at that back. So her fitness principle, they lay out the foundations as to how to live a healthy and balanced lifestyle and she talks about resistance training so the benefits of it so she really lets people understand you know why she trains in this way and what to do top 10 tips for feeling confident in the gym so i really like that i think her tips are very very useful especially for people who are starting to lift weights in the gym as you can see it is filled with so many tips she is pretty much laying everything out for you and she even goes on to explain what um, fitness terms are so like reps sets and stuff so especially for beginners this is really handy to have to so understand all the terms that are usually used when it comes to exercise so that is awesome and one thing I noticed is she puts a whole upper body and lower body warm-up routine. You know, I've seen a lot of fitness books and they don't actually include this, so props to you, girl. And then she's got her glute activation routine, so lovely diagrams, simple steps as to how to do them, so very clear, very easy to understand, so that's good. So she provides two exercise programs that you can do, so one for beginners and one for advanced. She um, sets it up as upper body, lower body, everything for you there laid out very nicely. And then you get a full body too. So you get upper body, lower body, full body. And then you get the advanced one as well. So the advanced ones are a little bit more complex and challenging. So, you know, you can always start out with the beginner, progress to doing these more advanced workouts. So you're constantly challenging your body, making progress. So in such advanced ones you get barbell squats, sumo deadlifts, and barbell hip thrusts. So this one's a really great glute workout. The only comment I'd say is she doesn't mention how long to rest in between the sets. I assume that she didn't put that on because it does depend on what you want to achieve. And then you get more and more exercises. So there are plenty of workouts to do from here. If you are trying to challenge yourself to a pull-up, she's got it in here too. So I know a lot of people, when they come to their fitness journey, they like to challenge themselves to that. If you don't have access to the gym, you can do body weight hit training so all of this has like got no equipment just full body workouts again she does one for a beginner and she does one for advanced so you can see here you got like burpees commandos lunges plank jacks blah blah blah, blah loads of good stuff obviously if you do those exercises over and over again your body is gonna adjust to it so it's gonna not really make progress and you're just gonna get better at it and it's gonna be easier for your body to do it she provides tips on how to step it up 
make it more challenging so that you are going to progress and see changes. Everything is just so clear, nice and easy to read, which is what I love about it. How often should I train? What form of cardio should I do? Is there anything I should avoid? Are there any daily activities I can do? You know, how should I train? So all of that is answered for you in this book. She even goes to show a whole weekly workout routine for beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And then she goes on about recovery and, you know, about sleep and stress, which is kind of over again, just as a warm up and cool down is overlooked. And those are really important aspects as to leading a healthy lifestyle. So she writes about that and how often she, you should stretch, you know, about progress and goal setting. If she really goes right into the details, but it's not too much to be overwhelming so you know things like I can't fit training into my diary you know suggest how you can so she gives an example here again if you can see she gives all the tips that she uses and really kind of tries to help you here so that is for the training part for the eating part she calls it nourish and oh my god they look so delicious you know she talks about macros here if you're interested in that talking about sugar as well and portion sizes you know moderation mindful eating and you know resisting temptation there's plenty of information here to take on so i really like how she doesn't just go on to giving the recipe she kind of shows what she thinks about food and nutrition and look at that my mouth is just like watering saying these because they look so yummy. She divides her recipes into breakfast, lunch, dinner, and sweet treats. So the breakfast includes things like oats, cinnamon spice, protein, smoothies, toast toppings. I look so happy looking at the recipes. Ah, I really need to try that one. That looks so good. You know what I would say about Zana's recipes in comparison to other fitness vloggers that I've tried is that you can really get the ingredients from your local supermarket. You don't need to go to a specialist like health foods. You don't need like a million different ingredients in like one dish. And last but not least is her ending note, which calls Thrive. She talks about finding balance to make you feel healthy, energized, make sure that you're looking after your body, but at the same time enjoying life so you're not restricting yourself to only, you know, healthy foods. You know, it's all about balance. So as you can see, I have said so many, if not all good things about this book. I would highly recommend this book for beginners, but also people who are just generally interested in fitness and health. So hope that gave a good glimpse of this book I would give it a five out of five this is not sponsored by the way I'm just doing this out of interest and thinking that this is very useful and I like this product so I'm gonna share that I like it if you've got any comments about the book or about my fitness and training lifestyle then feel free to comment down below I'd be more than happy to hear from you and as always if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell button so you know that I've uploaded a video. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.